welcome back to my youtube channel show here again with yet another wig review and this wig review is brought to you by sans beauty so today we're going to be reviewing this unit that i'm wearing right now but before we get started make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and if you're new to my channel welcome so this unit is from sensational and this is from their wet lace collection so if you guys are familiar with the wet lace collection you already know what's up but i'm going to give you all the details if you're not familiar with it but this is the Audrey wig, and I'm wearing her in the color 613, which is Platinum Blonde. This wig features um, a very, very natural hairline, baby hairs, everything. So you really don't have to customize besides maybe just putting lace on your powder and laying your baby hairs down, maybe cutting them, gluing your unit down, and all of that. You really do not have to do much to this unit but i actually had a lot of work on this unit done so i will go into that later when i tell you guys what i think about it so yeah so it's a 100 percent hum uh premium fiber and it is from the cloud swiss lace collection so this is the card right here so you guys can see and it looks so beautiful on the stock card and then it shows you in the back the other colors that it, that it is available in. And then it also shows you the difference between this unit, how natural it is, and just your standard synthetic units. So this is a synthetic premium fiber, just in case if you guys are wondering or anything. So if you're new to this um, whole collection and everything, basically like they have other wigs besides Audrey. I have already, I believe... I believe I did two reviews already on two other units, but these units just look super natural. They're very easy to customize. They're very beginner friendly and all of that. So if you're looking for something that's beginner friendly and that you don't have to do much, this would be your perfect unit. The only thing is I would tell you is with the baby hairs and all of that, you might want to, you're gonna have to lay them down just to make it look even more natural. So. You know, I would just watch tutorials on those and all of that. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was very, very scared to do a tutorial, especially with this unit, because I did not want to butcher this unit. So I felt like if I would have been on camera trying to do it, it I would have been under pressure. Now, had this unit been maybe like a 1B or black or anything like that, it would have never been like, I wouldn't be that nervous about it, but this is a platinum blonde. So it's not like I haven't done other platinum blonde units, but this one is one of those units that you can really slay to perfection. So I was just really scared. I was like, you know what? Let me take some time. You know, the baby is sleeping. Um, my stepson is not here. So let me just take some time. Um, since it's very quiet, my boyfriend is not home either. Let me take some time and customize this unit in peace and, you know, take my time with it and all of that. I do think I'm going to, I think I'm going to bring you guys another video with this unit where I'm actually dyeing it because I want to actually dye this unit in a different color. So I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to bring you guys a tutorial and in that tutorial, I will show you how I actually put this unit on. So I am sorry, you know, if you guys did want to see that part of the video, I do apologize for that. But I just wanted to do this off camera in peace, no pressure, no nothing. So I can go ahead and slay it for you guys and showcase it. So with this unit, you are getting three combs. So you're getting two in the front, I believe two on the sides and you're getting one in the back. It is a six. It is a 13 by, let's see, you get a 13 by six ear to ear parting space um so you can pretty much just part wherever you want let me actually show you guys i did do a side part because i felt like it looked very flattering with this unit um and i did kind of get a little bit of makeup in the middle of the part so let me show you guys so if you want to wear her as a middle part you can so there goes the part and then if you want to wear her to this side, you can as well. If you guys want to do kind of like an updo or something with her, you can as well. I kind of, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I kind of low-key wish 
that I would have ordered this unit in a 1B or a 1 because I think she would have been absolutely gorgeous in that color. I mean, that's just my comfort color. But I wanted to bring you guys a, thir a 613 unit um, for a while now. So, and I think it's the perfect time because summer's coming. So, I just wanted to bring, you know, just something a little bit different to my channel something more brighter so yeah so you're getting that now when it comes to cap construction like is it, is it big head friendly is it small head friendly this is definitely big head friendly i do have my adjustable straps on and my hair my natural hair right now is currently sitting at 20 inches so i do have tons of hair and my hair is not braided or anything underneath my wig but it did fit very, very comfortable. So I will say she is definitely big head friendly. I am small headed, so she feels pretty comfortable on my head. I don't feel uncomfortable or anything like that, but I'm just letting you guys know she's definitely big head friendly. Um, it does have a lot of stretchability and all of that. And you do, like I said, you do have your adjustable straps. I'll tell you guys what I think about this unit. So first of all, I'm not gonna lie to you. I got this unit probably like three weeks ago. Got it like three weeks ago. I did try the unit on. Um, I thought it was I thought it was really cute, but I didn't play too much with it because again, I wanted to customize this unit when I was in peace, no noise, no nothing. So I was just like, let me, you know, I want to take my time with it. So I finally found some time this morning. I got up at four in the morning and I was like, I can't sleep, so let me be productive. Let me just be productive. Today's going to be a long day. It's Friday. Might as well just do my makeup and everything. So I got up super early and I just started working on her. Now, at first, it really took me a while for me to get to this. Because for one, um, the problem with the lace was that the lace wasn't really showing as much. I thought the lace was still a little dark. So I did put some of my foundation. I did not put my powder on the lace because i feel like my powder is too orangey especially on hair like this you do not want to put your powder if it's too orange so you can go ahead if you want to put your foundation on it but do not put your powder on it trust me i put my foundation on it it looks better i am wearing a nude wig cap underneath as well and i did make sure i mean i did my best right on this side you can kind of see my hair a little bit because i do have a lot of baby hairs and I do have a lot of sideburns, so I can't do that tuck behind the ear thing with this unit because I have way too much sideburn. So I tried to tuck it in, I tried to gel it down, everything, and that is my fault. So that just wasn't working for me. So I would say, you know, with the 613s, if you do get it, just be very mindful of how you want your hair beneath because I think the, the unit is gorgeous but you do want to be very very conscious of that so that was kind of like the trickiest part another thing was also the ear to ear so i couldn't glue this down for the life of me i had to cut it because it was way too thick it was just really really pissing me off but then i was just like you know what whatever because i'm not even gonna tuck my hair behind my ear so it doesn't even really matter um the baby hairs were easy to manipulate um, the hair texture is really, really nice and soft. Um, I did get some shedding, but it wasn't like a lot. I didn't really get tangling a lot. I did brush the hair out because um, I felt like the curls were a little too defined. I wanted them to be a little bit more, um, I mean, I, I guess like poofy or just more volume and stuff. But other than that, I think she's really, really pretty. I don't know what you guys think about her, but it makes me feel very angelic. It actually gives me... It's funny that I said angelic because what I'm about to say next contradicts that, but it kind of gives me city girl vibes. So if you guys have watched the act up video, this is what it's giving me. Um, I had to like look for an outfit to wear and I just decided to wear a lingerie dress because it's like the only white thing that I own. I don't wear white just because I wear makeup most of the time. So I'm afraid to wear white, but ugh, I had to find something to make this look look complete but let me know what you guys think in the comments below let me know if i missed anything if you guys have any questions i did have one of my subscribers actually um send me a comment yesterday saying that she does want to see me 
um, do more versatile hairstyles with my wigs. I will try to do that for you guys, especially if I have wigs that allow that to, to happen. But I will try to do that. Um, the only issue that I face with that is that I don't, I don't always get my hair braided underneath my wigs. So it's kind of a little bit difficult. But when I do find the time to do that, I will bring you guys more videos like that. I will try to bring you more wig tutorials like I used to. Um, like I said, it's just a little bit harder now with the kids at home and me always being at home. It's not as easy, but I'm going to try to bring that to you guys because I know that you guys used to enjoy those videos a lot. Especially with a unit like this, I know that you guys would want to see this. So just let me know what you guys in, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you guys are feeling this on me. I think she actually looks cute. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I when I don't like something, I don't like it. But I'm actually feeling this. Um, I think she's cute. I just think she's cute. I don't I don't think she's too much or anything. I am a little bit afraid of platinum blondes, but I'm feeling it. So let me know if you guys are feeling it. Make sure that you guys check out Sans Beauty so you guys can get other units like this one at a discounted price from your retailer. And I will be putting the link below where you guys can purchase this unit. Also, make sure that you guys check me out on Instagram at Peralta Knows Best. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're new to my channel, welcome again. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you guys give it a thumbs up. And to keep up with my content, make sure you hit that bell before you exit out of this video. I will see you guys soon. Bye.